Now your Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen, and yes, we've been tracking the heat and the humidity for what seems like forever, but at least starting tomorrow, we'll kind of get a break there. Here's a look at our comfort level graphic today. We're expecting dew points to be near that 75 degree mark. That means heat indices could be anywhere between 95 to 110 degrees. However, later on in Thursday into Friday, you could see a dew point of 67. That's going to feel a lot better this weekend as we have some rain coming back into the forecast to kind of give us that break. Here's a look at Threat Tracker today. We are under a heat advisory. Now that begins this afternoon and lasts throughout the evening hours. For tomorrow, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be severe, but on Friday, we kick the rain out, mostly sunny, and finally, just a little bit cooler. Take a look at future track. Any rain that we will see today will be only in our eastern viewing area counties. As I move this forward here, it would just be an isolated shower or two. We're not expecting anything like we saw yesterday. No heavy rains, no scattered showers and thunderstorms, things like that. Once we get past the afternoon hours, the rain will finally move out and will be mostly clear overnight tonight with maybe a cloud or two lingering through. However, on Thursday, we bring back in our next system here. You can see that off to our west. This is 8 a.m. Moving this on forward, we could have a couple showers and thunderstorms develop tomorrow morning, but the big system and big complex we will be tracking will push its way through throughout the afternoon hours tomorrow. So stay with us here on KWWL, and we'll be keeping you updated on those storm chances today as well as through tomorrow. However, for our high temperatures today, we're expected to be in the mid to upper 90s further south. You can see 93 in Monticello, 93 as well in Old Wine, and yes, it is going to be humid. Overnight tonight, again, same as what we've been seeing over the past couple of days. Our low temperatures will be in the low to mid 70s, so the air conditioner will still be running. City by city forecast, only Dubuque and areas in our eastern viewing area counties. We'll be able to see a 10% chance of rain. Other than that, we'll stay dry across the board. We'll see on Thursday, Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City will all have chance for showers and thunderstorms. But on Friday, we clear out and we'll at least see a little bit less humidity. Taking a look at our 10-day forecast here, we bring back another chance for rain for Saturday at about a 30% chance. At least our temperatures do stay in the upper 80s over the weekend. We'll be dry at the end of the weekend through the start of the work week. But as the temperatures pick back up about midweek or so, we'll bring in even more rain chances to end next work.